make that three in a row for the Florida Panthers as they win last night against the New York Islanders 4-2 to continue their winning streak and get to 500 for the first time this season. Um, you know, this game started off a little rocky. Morgan, first goal, though, uh, right in front of the net. First goal of the season, made it 1-0. Then the Islanders tied it at 1-1 on, on breakaway. Then in the second, they ended up going up 2-1 on the power play. But then Hoffman uh, ends up tying it for the Cats as he gets his point, a point, in 11 straight games. The Florida Panther record is 13 games by Pavel Bure with at least a point. As Pierre Bure did that um, back in 2000, he had 12 goals, nine assists back then. Hoffman is definitely not going to reach that level, but again, amazing start so far by him. Definitely a huge pickup for the Cats as he makes it a two to one, and that was late in the second period too, as he's, we scored with 46 seconds left in that second period. In the third, we end up taking the lead. Barkov on the power play on a four-on-three power play. Barkov's third of the season to make it 3-2. And that's kind of uh, concerning. You know, he only has three goals so far this year, Barkov. You know, usually, you know, we'd expect him to have a little bit more. You know, right now he's on pace, you know, not even on pace for 30 goals right now. So a little, a little worry, but I think Barkov will definitely rev it up uh, later on in the season and get to that 30-goal plateau for the Cats. And then uh, Brewer and seals it with an empty net goal with less than a second left to win it 4-2 for the Florida Panthers. Um, now get back to that Barkov goal that lit, was on the power play. Hope Hudo was right in front of the net, blocking the goalie's view, and that's what you need on the power play. We need more of that even on the power play or just on 5-on-5. Five five. Get in the way of the goalie, get shots in the net, lo and behold, look what happens. You score goals. So... Definitely a uh, huge win for the Panthers. Power play, get on all the power play goal. We were one for five on the power play. We've now moved up to 14th in the league on the power play, so we've definitely improved in that situation. The PK, perfect tonight, four for four. Uh, we are now 27th, though, still near the bottom. Still going to you know, keep getting improving, and we should be you know, getting at where we need to be. So, yeah, again, when I made this video, <laughs> we're what? Less than an hour away from puck drop tonight as we face off against the Ottawa Senators in the back-to-back. -back. You know, as you know, we got 15 backs-to-backs this season, the most in the league. So this is just one of them. But it's good, you know, 5 o'clock start. Uh, you know, I, I like these 5 o'clock starts, especially with I have to be up at 6, 5.30 uh, to work at 6 now. So, you know, I can watch the game, be over by 8 max. Get good night's sleep and then you know enjoy and you know get ready for the game. And I don't know if uh, I said anything, but my Lowe's this is closing a couple of stores down, and uh, my store was one of them. So you know right now we're in the process of liquidating, getting everything out. Probably gonna close the store down. I'd say sometime in January is what they're estimating. Uh, so you know it was kind of shocking to hear. You know really. I uh, wasn't expecting that, but thankfully they are going to put us all in at least another Lowe's, which is really awesome. You know, I'm going to the Wave with one uh, next time over to me. It's still public transportation, so I will be okay. I still have a job, so I, you know, that was the thing I was worrying about when they announced this meeting. We had a meeting on Sunday, announced it Saturday, you know, didn't know what was going to happen, but thankfully Lowe's is really setting us up really well. Um, so I'm happy about that. So, you know, I haven't really <laughs> been sleeping much because it's been crazy in my work. Uh, a lot of people coming in trying to get the deals and all that. So it will be nice to get a good night's sleep tonight. I will have the recap game for the Ottawa game, though, up tomorrow. Again, I'm going to keep this process in place uh, where I do the recap the day after. You know, it gives me two more time to think. Uh, a lot of people do like the recap after the next day, uh, so I'm going to keep going, doing it that way. But um, yeah, I'm going to um, close this out. Actually, I wanted to show you guys something. So as you know, uh, when I spoke to you guys in Tampa, I, was in Tampa I told you I was a big Soylent fan. So yeah, I got this case, and then I have another three cases down below, and I have some more in the refrigerator. 
I love Solon. So, uh, if you guys never tried it, you should try it. My wife hates it. She she doesn't like any of the flavors I've, I have. I, I like the chocolate one. There's original. There's there came up a new one, vanilla. That's really good. Uh, and then chai uh, that they have. So, <laughs> but anyways, no enough talk of that. Uh, I'm gonna close this out. Get ready for the game tonight. I uh, hope you guys are watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, comment down below, and as always, if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, uh, for, and I'll give updates on every single game the Florida Panthers play this season. That is my promise, and I will keep to it. So I'll see you in the next game.